Hey, this is getting very out of hand now. Um, now, if you guys, I'm sure you guys know, Hurricane Harvey has hit Texas massively. There have been thousands of people displaced and uh, many, many places flooded. You know, there are freeway signs that even got flooded, trucks, uh, homes, everything. People lost everything that they had. There were people who literally lost everything that they had. Um, and now the death toll has risen to 60. Um, and unfortunately, I think it will continue to rise because the flooding is just continuing. Now we have another one. The story here says, Florida governor declares state of emergency over Hurricane Irma. Uh, Florida governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency affecting every county in Florida in preparation for Hurricane Irma, which has been upgraded to a category four storm. Okay, so we got a repeat of Hurricane Harvey, basically. Says so Scott's order signed Monday notes that the National Hurricane Center predicts the storm will be a quote major hurricane lo located somewhere north of Cuba and south of Andros Island in the Bahamas. Uh, hurricane Irma poses a severe threat to the entire state of Florida and requires that timely precautions are taken to protect the community's critical infrastructure and general welf welfare of this state. Um, the order states, quote, as governor, I am responsible to meet the dangers presented to this state and its people by this emergency. Puerto Rican Governor uh, Ricardo Rosello uh, also declared a state of emergency on Monday ahead of the impending storm. The National Hurricane Center said Monday that Irma had strengthened to a Category 4 storm with winds reaching 130 miles per hour as the East Coast braces for the hurricane. It's the second major storm sending authorities in southeast states scrambling. Last month, Hurricane Harvey made la landfall in Texas and brought devastating flooding to the region. President Trump visited affected areas in Houston and in Louisiana on Saturday. Thousands of people were displaced in the aftermath of the storm, and recovery is still ongoing. So, I really hope that this doesn't do much damage i'm hoping that something happens that we're just it doesn't really happen and i don't want it to infect affect anybody it's really important that people are aware of this to spread the message and to spread the information so that everyone stays safe make sure that they have their things make sure that they're prepared because after seeing what happened in hurricane harvey in texas we do not want a repeat of that because that has displaced thousands of people, put thousands of lives in danger. It has killed over 60 people. And I don't know how they can continue the, the, the toll count because you'd have to literally search all of the waters to tell who's who all is dead. So this is really bad and really crazy. And I think at this point, it's safe to start saying that, yeah, climate change probably is affecting something um, because we haven't... we've. We haven't really ever done this. I mean, we're talking about Hurricane Harvey breaking fucking records. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below. Leave a like and share the video. Help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.